social media can be quite harmful. People feel because they're not face to face they can say anything to you. It decreases people's attention span. Social media gives a bad impression of the outside world. If I didn't put that tweet out, I don't know what I would have done. What if I told you this looks ugly? Would you believe me? If I told you social media is a positive place, would you believe me? Social media is often on the news, but rarely for the good it can do. Alex and Joe bring just two examples of positive social media experiences out there that don't get heard above the negative. There is a good side to humanity. You just have to open your eyes and listen. All right, I'm going. Thanks. Between the breaks, we're going to start the first half. Is going to be on blogging, and the second half is going to be on Instagram. So I won't just be found for the obvious, like social media training, Manchester. People find me for specific things like <coughs> social media for street food vans or social media for retail because like, those words and phrases come up in my blog. So my job essentially has two compartments to it. Um, there's one side which is social media training, which is training businesses how to use social media better. Social media is so, so relevant. I think if, the, if you look back to the old days of businesses having to go out with flyers door to door or spend a hell of a lot of money on the local newspaper, it's a really, really cost-effective way to get the word out there. With people taking photos constantly and posting them on Facebook. It's gone against the old way of like, we want to get customers. We're going to advertise in the local newspaper where it's got 90,000 readers, but only 2,000 of those might be relevant to us. Whereas you can just go now and you can build up the audience of the 2,000 people that you want on Instagram or on Facebook or on Twitter. I think when people come together for obviously tragic events, like say what you saw in Manchester happen last year, but then when people really rallied behind on social media and offered the home open and offered the door and offered lifts for people, I think the really humane side of it and the fact that people are prepared to help others and just go out of the way to total strangers. Um, I went to um, the Ariana Grande concert and um, I had booked to get on um, the first train home. When we like got out and stuff, we like started to like walk down the road. I made it to a hotel and then that's when I put out the tweet because I was looking like all over my Twitter and stuff and everyone was saying to me like Joe like are you okay and I'd say in like five minutes I had something like 60 retweets I got into contact with this guy called Jordan and he, he was doing lifts and stuff like back and forth and he was from Liverpool I had my doubts and stuff like of like I'm not getting into a like random person's car. He like picked us up and then he like took us home. If I like texted someone, like if I if I called someone and that like, there's always the thing that they aren't gonna answer, but like when you send out a like tweet, like it's like public to however many hundreds of millions of people. I sort of just had that like gut instinct that like somebody would help me. I think it would have been a lot harder to cope with what happened without social media because there's obviously, when you like see that other people have like gone through it too and that sort of thing, it kind of makes you feel like you weren't alone. It was a big part in making sure that I was safe and that I was getting home. In no way does this suggest that social media doesn't have its negative side because it most definitely does. But there are two sides to every story. Social media could be a positive place for us all and allow us to spread a little bit of happiness, tweet by tweet. Think about social media, a lot of the time you're simply talking to strangers that you've never met, you've got no affiliation with, and you can make friends out of it. It was a lot more than just like putting up a photo of, like, of your lunch or like, something like that. Like, people can make like, meaningful connections and that sort of thing on it.